We will show you here how to use I.O. Broker with Open Beacon devices. First, we will install I.O. Broker with Sonoff plugin on Windows, and then we will show you the broker and Open Beacon configuration. Open Beacon devices are mostly compatible with Tasmota standard, so the procedure will be very similar to pairing Tasmota with I.O. Broker, and can be applied to Tasmota devices as well. Ok, let's start by downloading I.O. Broker installer. It can be easily found, just Google for it. Remember that you can also run I.O. Broker in Docker or on Raspberry Pi if you want. First you select the language, then accept the license agreement. Then select the new installation option. Next select installation directory and ports for the services. We do not suggest changing those ports, but if you change them, write down the ports you have selected. Now just wait for the installation process to finish. Installer will need to download some data from web, so be patient. It can take long time. You can use that time to visit our IoT device teardowns list. We have over 200 teardowns already and you can always submit new ones to help us. Finally, the installation is finished and you can automatically launch I.O. Broker panel. There might be some pop-ups and release notes. You can read them if you have time. You can also select your language and date from here. Then you should install a Sonoff plugin. You can do this in Adapters menu. Search for Sonoff keyword and click plus icon to install a Sonoff instance. Wait for installation to finish. Check log to make sure everything is OK. Create a new MQTT username and a password. You will need to enter that username and password in OBK device. It's time to configure Open Beacon. Here we assume that you already have Open Beacon Flash to your device. If you don't have Open Beacon device yet, please watch one of our flashing guides. We have flashing guides for many types of devices, including LEDs, bulbs, relays, switches and more. In order to pair with I.O. Broker, first you need to enable Tasmota MQTT telemetry in Configure Flags menu. Enable Flag 30 and save. Then you need to enter the MQTT data in Configure MQTT menu. Enter IP of your I.O. Broker server. Enter MQTT username and password and also remember to choose some meaningful topic name for your device. Then you should reboot your device to make sure that all changes are applied. Open Beacon device should now appear in I.O. Broker. Let's do the final test. As you can see, the I.O. Broker has correctly detected all four relays from our device. The communication works and it's bidirectional. You can change relay states both from OBK web panel and from I.O. Broker. Remember, the same way can be used to pair Tasmota devices with I.O. Broker. And you can also pair other types of OBK devices as well. For example, a power measuring sockets. Here is an example. As you can see, I.O. Broker can receive measurement data correctly, including voltage, power, current and more. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please visit our forum. You can also consider visiting our online IoT Teardowns database list or even submit a new article there. See you on Electroda.